Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Cowboys Micah Parsons joins Hall of Fame company with Sack Mark. Dallas Cowboys All-Pro linebacker Micah Parsons took a big step in 2023 in his quest to become one of the greatest defensive players to play the game. Sunday afternoon in the Cowboys' convincing 38-10 victory to clinch the NFC East Championship and number 2 seed in the playoffs, Parsons was a wrecking ball finishing with one sack, five tackles, and one quarterback hit. Parsons finished the 2023 campaign with a career-high 14 sacks. In the process, Parsons becomes just the fifth player in NFL history to begin his career with at least 40 sacks through his first three seasons. The 24-year-old former Penn State standout now resides alongside the likes of Hall of Famers Reggie White and Derek Thomas, along with Dwight Freeney and Alden Smith as the only players to produce at least 40 sacks through three seasons. Since being chosen by the Cowboys with the number 12 overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, Parsons has quickly developed a reputation as one of the most dominant and disruptive defensive players in the league. Through his first 50 games, Parsons has logged 40.5 sacks, 213 total tackles, 52 tackles for loss, 7 forced fumbles, 4 fumble recoveries, and 89 quarterback hits. I think this year, I've improved in almost every aspect of my game, Parsons told reporters following the Cowboys' win over Washington. I'm really committed to getting better and getting into better shape and just everything overall. So, I'm really happy where I'm at right now, but I'd be really excited if I get to where we're going to. The Cowboys wrapped up a second NFC East championship in the past three seasons and will have at least one home game in the NFL playoffs, but Parsons is far from satisfied. After all, Dallas has just two playoff victories since 2014 and despite boasting a roster with game-breaking talent, the Cowboys haven't reached the conference championship game since winning the Super Bowl in 1995. Regular season is cute and people are like, oh you know he played great for a while. But this is legacy, Parsons told reporters. There's a term, be phenomenal or be forgotten. The way Jimmy, Johnson, and Mike, Irvin, the way people show them love, and Charles, Haley, I think that's for me, CD, Dak all want to be on that legacy and earn our way into that Cowboys Hall of Fame. Parsons figures to play a key role in the Cowboys' postseason trajectory, but enters with just one sack in his two playoff games to go with 16 total tackles in those contests. Even as the hats and t-shirts were being handed out in the Cowboys' locker room Sunday afternoon, Jerry Jones turned up the heat on head coach Mike McCarthy with the playoffs looming. Jones has seen his franchise suffer embarrassing blowout losses to end their season the past two years, and it does not sound like just winning the division will be enough to guarantee McCarthy is back on the Cowboys' sideline in 2024. I just think his record speaks for itself, Jones told reporters, according to The Athletic's John Machoda. I think of what he's done and that we've put ourselves in this position over these last three years, I think that does speak for itself. We've got a lot of football left and no small part thanks to Mike. We'll see how each game goes. Cowboys Dak Prescott puts NFL on notice with four-word message on playoffs. The Dallas Cowboys are winners of the NFC East but don't expect to see photos of Dak Prescott wearing the division championship gear. Prescott declined to wear the hat and shirt given to the players after the Cowboys' victory over the Washington Commanders. The Cowboys' quarterback is clear on why he is not wearing the NFC East apparel, I want something better. Dak Prescott isn't wearing his NFC East title hat or shirt. DallasCowboys.com's Patrick Walker detailed in a January 7, 2024 message on X, he says he's not doing it to send a message, but he explained his current mindset, we've won, the East, before. The focus is ahead. Simple as that. I want something better. Prescott was also asked about how ready the Cowboys are to take the next step in the NFL playoffs after failing to make it past the divisional round. Dallas win not only secures the NFC East, but also locked up the number two seed. This means the soonest the Cowboys would have to leave AT&T Stadium is in the NFC Championship. If Dallas were to advance and play anyone other than the San Francisco 49ers, the Cowboys would also host the NFC Championship. The Cowboys did not need it, but Dallas also received help after the Eagles lost to the Giants. 
The team will host the number 7 Green Bay Packers in the wild card round. The Cowboys open as 7 point favorites over the Packers, per FanDuel. Head coach Mike McCarthy gets a rematch against his former team. Green Bay snagged a 31 28 overtime victory over Dallas the last time these two teams played on November 13, 2022. It does not hurt that the Cowboys secured a crucial win on the road, even if it was against an inferior opponent. Prescott threw for 279 yards, four touchdowns, and an interception while completing 86.1% of his passes against the Commanders. Micah Parsons is among those excited about the Cowboys securing home field advantage for at least two playoff games if the team advances. Blessed. Let's go, Cowboys Nation. Let's protect the den. Parsons said in a January 7 message on X, Prescott also emphasized that more things are ahead for the Cowboys in his post game interview. The Cowboys signal caller made it clear that Dallas is not done with just the division title. This is huge. Been a great year, Prescott told Fox Sports Aaron Andrews during a January 7 post game interview. Obviously, as you said, battled the last four games. Finished the right way. And then, just getting to go back, have the playoffs be at AT&T Stadium. This is huge. Great to win the division. Proud of these guys, proud of this guy, C.D. Lamb. Awesome year, but we're damn sure not done. Dallas Stefan Gilmore suffers a shoulder injury against Washington. Cowboys starting corner Stefan Gilmore has been an essential addition to the Dallas defense this year. Whether that will continue in the postseason is something now worth watching. Gilmore suffered a shoulder injury in the second quarter of Sunday's game against the Commanders and didn't return. Gilmore injured his shoulder when he made a diving attempt at an interception. Nash and Wright replaced Gilmore at corner. Gilmore was wearing a sling after the game. He didn't have that in the locker room, however. He said after the game that his shoulder was popped back into place and he was feeling better, adding that he's excited about next week. Gilmore, a former Defensive Player of the Year, has been a big addition for Dallas. The Cowboys sent a fifth-round pick to the Colts this offseason for Gilmore. The two-time All-Pro has two interceptions on the season. He's also been an integral part in the development of second-year corner Darren Bland who moved to outside corner when the Cowboys lost Trayvon Diggs for the season. And you fan, what do you think of the Stefan Gilmore situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.